Hello, my loves. So, you're going to be sick and tired of looking at this face over the next few weeks because this is the face you're going to see on my videos for the next six weeks. I literally, excuse me, there was a hair in my eye. I, you, I actually went through every step I did except eyeliner and eyelashes, I think. Yes, I think that's the only step I didn't film because I do have an eyeliner tip video that I'm working on as well as, and I did talk about the inner waterline eyeliner. I just didn't talk about the other. Plus, I wasn't sure about these lashes. It's the first time I've ever worn these and I'm not sure how I feel about them yet. So, um, we, we shall see. We shall see. So, yeah, um, if you look forward to spending a few minutes with me every Monday and seeing how I got this look. Just stay tuned and keep watching. Oh, I feel like we, okay, there we go. So, golly, y'all been looking at this mess for weeks now, had not you? <laughs> it's only been a couple minutes. Well, it's been about an hour and a half for me because I keep getting up and doing other things. So, who's ready for eyeshadow? Mm. Now, there again, eyeshadow like I just kicked y'all. <laughs> Eyeshadow, like mascara, I'm trying to cross my legs, is very personal. Everybody's got different eye shapes. Everybody's got different concerns. Um, my main concerns is I either want a bare face or I want the freckles covered up. Does that make sense? That didn't make sense. I either want to walk around and not have makeup on or I want my freckles covered up on my eyes because I want my makeup look to pop. Now, there's a couple of products, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a couple of products I use for this. I use the NAR, NAR Soft Matte. Um, I also use Soft Ochre Paint Pop by MAC. And then I use the Urban Decay. If you've not got a lot to cover, um, the Milani yeah, the Milani eyeshadow base, I, I don't know the exact name of it, is a really good one. If you don't have veins or texture or freckles to cover up, that's a really good one. My most full coverage are these two. But I feel like my makeup goes on better with this one. So, normally I reach for the soft ochre. It just depends on the look I'm doing. Like I said, when I first started this video weeks ago, <clears throat> I, um, I'm on my way to work after this. So we're just going to go in with the paint pot. I've just got a flat shader brush and I'm just going to kind of, and I do this with my fingers. I do this with a brush. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day. Like see that spot there, I will have to go back in on that one, probably with my finger. And this spot, hmm. This spot here, I don't know what that is. Um, it came up a while back and it has not gone away. I probably should get that checked out. It's always red. It's always there. I don't know what happened. covers it better than that. I feel like I'm just completely blanking on my eye, but oh well. And this one, I have spots right here. Okay, now, I have hooded eyes. There's definitely a stigma around hooded eyes, but I feel like I have... The way you need to come at it is you need to look at it as it's your eye shape. It is what it is. 
and I'm trying to look for my little mirror so I can fix that spot. Um, and I've learned to work with it. Just like if you had standardized or um, eyes that were too close together or I don't think that there is should be a stigma around anybody's eyeballs. I mean, their eyes. If you can't see and are blind or getting blind like I am, I just stuck my hand in there thinking I was sticking it in the other thing. And by the way, number one tip, do not dip your hands in your products if your hands are not clean because that bacteria will grow. The other thing with the matte paint pot is I don't have to set it. So it's with um, paint pot or Urban Decay, I don't set it. If I do go in with the matte, soft matte by NARS, I do set that just to be on the safe side. Now I just grabbed the Naked Reloaded and I'm going to grab a big fluffy brush and I am going to go in with Bucked. I, this was actually, whoop, whoop, this is Bucked. This was actually in another palette from Urban Decay and I completely used it up. This is a color I really like. Now I started my tail. See why I said I had to have my tail. Do you remember that when I did my eyebrows? I said I had to have my tail so I'd have a guideline and I pull it in. The other thing to remember is wherever you set your brush down first. Ah, oh, shoot. I just dipped into a different color. Wherever you set your brush down first is where you're going to get the most pigment. Well, that didn't show up at all. Let me grab another brush and show you what I mean. So, I'm going to go into Endgame. Oop, I kicked you again. Go here and pull down. See how it starts to lose its pigment on the way down? So wherever you first put your brush down, that's where you want your most pigment. So I want it more at the outer end, and then I'm going to pull it in. And I'm just continuing to go in with that. I probably should have said this one is doing wonky things. I'm just continuing to go in with that bucked color. I need to look in my other mirror because that's making me crazy. Now, like I was saying, I have hooded eyes, so I like everything a little bit up higher so you can actually see the color. Like, if I look straight ahead, you can see my color out here. You can see the color in here. But if I were to just go, let me do it on the other eye. If I was to just go in my crease, well, and then open my eye, see where that color is showing, but on this eye it just kind of disappears. So that's why I like to, I forgot which eye I was working on, start up here and kind of pull it in. In fact, I may do this other one off camera. Yeah, let me do the other eye off camera so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me do the same thing twice. Okay, now the next thing I do is if you have a, like, if you have a sparkling shade or a metallic shade or anything that's a little bit shiny, let me see if you guys can really see the grain. So like these two right here, how shiny they are. I like to get it on my brush, tap off the excess, and then spray it with some Max Fix Plus. This is an oldie but a goodie as far as what to do. I'm going to, well, no, I'm just going to look in here. And I'm literally just going to kind of give my, now I bring it up. So see, if I open my eye, all that shiny disappears. So I bring it up 
above my crease a little bit. This is starting to look like a cut crease, but that's not what's my intention. This is just a look I do. It does kind of remind me of a cut crease. And I'm not respraying my brush. The brush is damp now, so it's doing its thing. The other thing I want to do, you want to do, is you want to look straight forward at your mirror so that you can see exactly where the lines are. So you don't want to look down. You want to look straight forward, eyes open, so I can see. I want that product to go right there. And then I'm going to go in with that shade <clears throat> and just ever so slightly where I've left it bare up here, I'm going to just ever so slightly kind of highlight that area. I'm not going full 90s frost. I'm just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to take the same color and I'm going to go in this corner to really brighten up that eye. And I don't know why I do, I do this prior to concealer because I always end up doing it again after concealer. So yes, I am going to put eyeliner and mascara on off camera and I will see you guys next week. Mwah.